Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I successfully passed the ELAN Security Junior Penetration Tester version 2 or the EJPT V2 exam on January 10th of 2023. In this video, I would like to share my experience taking this certification, how to prepare, and some tips and tricks for those who want to take this certification. In this video, I will talk about uh, why I chose EJPT, uh, the training materials for this certification, uh, my advice on how to prepare for the exam, note taking before the before and during the exam, and finally my experience with the EJPT exam. So, before we jump in, uh, please support me, support the channel uh, by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And also, let me know your opinions about the EJPT and if you have any questions uh, I would be more than happy to help and answer your questions so let's go so first of all why did I choose EJPT certification uh, I did some research on what is the best beginner cybersecurity certification for those who want to start in this industry and found that EJPT is the best choice as of now, they released the version 2 of the EJPT uh, as the EJPT version 2, as mentioned before. It's a practical and dynamic exam in which you will have access to a network and do a real pen test on the network and answer the questions according to your findings. It's like a real penetration test, not a CTF. I found it interesting and decided to take it as uh, my first certification in cybersecurity. I suggest uh, this certification for those who want to start in cybersecurity, specifically in red teaming. It will give you an experience of how a real penetration test will look like, and you will learn a lot even while doing the exam. Uh, according to the INE, the Alien Security Junior Penetration Tester exam validates that the individual has the knowledge and skills required to fulfill a role as an, as an entry-level penetration tester. This certification covers assessment methodologies and enterprise auditing with host, network, and web application penetration testing. This exam is designed to be the first milestone certification for someone with little to no experience in cybersecurity, simulating the skills utilized during a real-world engagement. This exam truly shows yourself and your employer that you have what it takes to be part of a waning penetration testing team. You can find more information and also the scenario uh, in the, uh, on the ELAN security uh, website or the INA website. I will put the links in the description of this video. So now we know what is EJPT. So what about the training for the EJPT version, version 2 certification? Uh, INA has a dedicated learning path for the EJPT version 2 as uh, the path name is Penetration Testing Student Version 2, or PTS V2. This learning path teaches you everything you need for the exam. It contains video lessons and hands-on labs. The hands-on labs uh, help you practice what you have learned from the video lessons. Uh, this path clears everything from information gathering to post-exploitation. You will learn about all phases of penetration testing, uh, the PTS version 2 is divided into four different sections that include assessment, assessment methodologies, uh, including information gathering, footprinting and scanning, enumeration, and vulnerability assessment. Uh, the second section is the host and network auditing uh, uh, and network penetration testing, uh, which includes the system and host-based attacks and network-based attacks. Uh, and also the Metasploit framework, exploitation, post-exploitation, and social engineering. And also the last section will talk about the web application penetration testing. So the PTS version 2 or the penetration testing version 2, sorry, the penetration testing student version 2 is a paid course. So if you have the money to buy the course, it is really worth it. And I highly recommend you buy and uh, take this course before applying or uh, planning to take the EJPT exam. The link for the PTS version 2 is provided in the description of this video. By the way, if you have no money for the course, you can still learn the stuff for free with the penetration testing student course. 
the PTS is provided free by INE and covers almost everything that you need to pass the EJPT exam. It has video lessons, slides, and also hands-on labs. Uh, it also provides you with three black box penetration testing labs. You should complete these three labs before attempting the EJPT version 2 exam. It's to be mentioned that the PTS uh, version 2 is much more detailed than the PTS and uh, that's the only difference. You learn uh, in details in the penetration testing student version 2 rather than just PTS. Uh, I have a dedicated video on how to register and start learning for this part or the penetration testing student. The link for the video will be up uh, there and also in the description of the video. Now that we know what is EJPT and where to prepare, uh, what are my advices on how to prepare for the exam? First of all, complete all the materials provided in the PTS version 2 if you have access to it. You should watch all the videos and complete the hands-on labs. Never ever escape any labs as they will give you a clear clue on how to do it on the exam day. If you escape or don't do any of the labs, you will have some problems during the exam. If you don't have access to the PTS version 2, complete all the materials that are on the penetration testing student course or the PTS course. It covers everything that you need as uh, mentioned before. Uh, but the PTS version 2 is much more detailed. Complete the three black box penetration testing labs. I highly recommend this because if you complete and find the flags on these labs, uh, you know that you are ready for the exam. Uh, you should take notes uh, uh, while studying either the PTS or the PTS version 2. Uh, keeping good notes or taking good notes will really help you. Try to keep the note of all the commands and procedures on how to approach a target or a service. Uh, your notes will be very helpful and will be one of your best friends during the exam. Also, try to fully understand how to use Nmap scripts for all phases of penetration testing. Nmap is not just uh, for mapping the network or finding the open ports. You can use it much more uh, broader than that or wider than that. As you will not have access to the internet and cannot download and use any external tools, you should know how to use N Nmap for information gathering, for enumeration, and also uh, exploitation. Metasploit is a must to learn. As mentioned in the previous point, you will not have access to the internet, so you cannot use any external tools. Your best friends are Metasploit framework and Nmap uh, inside the lab. Don't panic. You have 48 hours to complete the exam, so don't worry about the time and focus on the exam and how to find uh, the answers. Uh, use Google if needed. Uh, it's the EJPT uh, is an open book exam, so feel free to use Google uh, if you face any problem. You will not find the answers for the questions, but you may find some useful tips and tricks on how to approach uh, a service, for example, FTP or anything similar to that. Complete the free rooms on TryHackMe and also hack the box. Uh, the TryHackMe labs will help you prepare for the exam. I will have a dedicated video on, on the rooms the free rooms that will be helpful for the ejpt exam and don't forget to hit that notification bell that when i upload that video you will be notified about that uh, remember that it's not a ctf like exam and do not look at it as a ctf approach you should know all phases of penetration testing and you should perform it during the exam from the information gathering to post exploitation pivoting and everything so as mentioned Note taking is a great part of studying. I use KeepNote as my virtual notebook and I used it for the course while studying and also while taking the exam. Uh, you can see a screenshot of my notes while I was watching the video lessons. Uh, it's to be mentioned that being organized is also important as you will not be lost in your notes. Keep your notes organized and keep it clean because when you look at it or when you just review it, you will understand what you're looking for or what you're looking at. Here's also a picture of a screenshot of my notes during the exam day. And uh, I kept 
uh, my notes like this because I wanted everything to be clear and separated that I shouldn't be lost in my notes and keep everything organized. So now we have almost uh, talked about everything. Now let's talk about my EJPT version 2 exam experience. So the EJPT version 2 is uh, a 40 hour uh, exam. It's a plenty of time to uh, finish the exam. Uh, I started in the morning around eight o'clock. It took me around uh, 10 to 12 hours to complete and submit the exam. Uh, I applied uh, the penetration testing stage one by one in order. As I mentioned before, it's not a CTF like, it is uh, like a real penetration testing. It is, it simulates that you are doing a penetration testing for a network. So I started with information gathering and enumeration with Nmap. Uh, once completed with the enumeration phase, I checked each target for known vulnerabilities and misconfigured services. Uh, so I had to do all these things manually. Uh, and I did this for all the targets one by one. Uh, because in the network you don't have you don't have just one target or one service once finished with uh, one target I moved to another one uh, and also I keep uh, note of all my findings for each target and keep them organized as I mentioned before uh, in AJPT version 2 exam there are 35 que 35 questions and I had to answer all of them so you can see an example of my notes during the exam uh, right now. Uh, to be remembered that uh, you have to perform each stage of penetration testing on each target and each service. You don't know until you dig into it that if it's vulnerable or not. So after answering all questions and double checking them with my notes, I submitted the exam for the EJPT. This exam, you don't need to wait to receive your exam results. You will have it once you submit the exam. I was really happy to see the congratulations message as it was my first certification in cybersecurity. I passed it successfully and got, got my first certification. Now we are almost at the end of the video. I hope this video was helpful to you and thank you for watching till the end. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I would be more than happy to answer and help you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to support the channel by clicking the video and subscribing to the channel. Also, hit that notification bell to be notified when we upload a new video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.